Hey guys, it's Utonia here. I'm here to do a quick video guide to the Merlin. The Merlin is a pretty strong Taekwon frigate. It's one of the strongest Taekwon frigates, although I put pretty much every Taekwon frigate in the category of being strong and viable now with the recent changes that have happened over the past year or so and a half. Uh, only, only the Rifter really stands out as a ship that isn't quite working right now. So the point of this Merlin is it's a all-in Merlin. Uh, the entire idea of this fit is to do as much DPS and have as much tank as possible at zero kilometers. It's kind of like an EFT general, armchair general fit. Uh, it's not as it's not really all that practical, and I would definitely uh, prefer flying the Kestrel or a Breacher or some other figure over this ship. Although it can uh, be pretty fun to fly, it's really easy to fly. And you can get some surprising kills in it because people don't really expect a Tech One Frigate to be as to do as much damage and be as, as tanky as this. Uh, so the Merlin has a five percent bonus to small hybrid damage, and it also has a four percent bonus to shield resistances. These two bonuses combined just give it more stats, which is great. This is what we're kind of going for here. So we've got three uh, Tech Two Line Neutron Blasters in the high slots. They're the highest tier blaster. Uh, just there to do as much damage as possible. They also have slightly more range, although that doesn't really matter too much. Also got a uh, compact micro warp drive, a Tech Two medium shield extender. If you are having difficulty fitting this ship, because it does have, it is. Uh, I have max skills, and I only uh, only have 0 0.5 CPU and 0 0.2 power grid remaining. You can downgrade this to the a medium Asiatropic medium shield extender, which is the one that gives a, a small sig reduction. Or you can also, if you're still having problems, go for a compact. Uh, still having problems after that, you can maybe downgrade the uh, faint scram to the compact scram and uh, fit a power grid module here. Uh, moving on, just got a, uh, a fleeting web and a faint scram. I think these these are probably pretty standard. Uh, got double Tech 2 mag stabs, so as much DPS as possible. And a Tech 2 micro auxiliary power core unit. Uh, if you can't fit this, there is a, a navy one that you can pick up for 5 mil. Although the entire point of this fit is mostly because of how cheap it is. It only costs about 6.8 million isk for the entire fit. Which is great, it's very cost efficient. And of course the rigs are just uh, core defense field extenders, just to give as much HP as possible. So uh, with, with all of this we have over 3000 HP. And the lowest resistance is 20% EM. You can plug the EM resistance if you want, but there's not actually that many ships in the meta game right now that do pure EM damage. So I think you're probably better off uh, going uh, all three core defense field extenders to try and capitalize on uh, resistances to uh, uh, kinetic and thermal and explosive, which you have pretty decent resistances to. To warp around to busy areas where there's a lot of frigates, especially destroyers, things that I can kill at zero. In this case, I've already anchored a bubble at the sun at zero. Uh, small anchored bubbles are really good tools for basing people in the Merlin. So the idea is I warp to a busy area, then just warp off to a really obvious celestial. I've already got a bubble set up here uh, at zero, and I just hope that something... Uh, will follow me that I can kill. So in this case a uh, Kadai Navy Hookbill has decided to follow me to the sun to attack me and uh, since he's landed uh, on the bubble at zero I'm able to uh, get on top of him straight away and just to apply max DPS where I should be able to win even despite it being a faction frigate because you just have so much invested in uh, DPS and uh, tank you're just able to kill bigger ships like Thrashers, like Sabres, etc. And I'm able to get away before his friends land because I got so much DPS with the double mag stab and void uh, DPS, which is great. Uh, that's the entire point of the Merlin. I was late to start recording for this fight, but uh, this confessor just decided to aggro me at zero on a gate. And this is the perfect example of where the Merlin really shines. There's a lot of uh, ships will underestimate you. T tactical destroyers, like, and destroyers in general, like Thrashers, Sabres, Confessors, RTC pools, Rail, Rail Hakatis, although I'm not sure if you can kill a Rail Hakati because of the resistance profile. But ships like that will almost always think that they can just shoot you and kill you on a gate and bully you through. 
And this is like a perfect example of uh, like where the Merlin really shines, just because it has so much power and people really underestimate it. And I guess he might have been cocky too because of all of his uh, friends that were landing pretty soon. Uh, yeah, that's just like a, a great example of just where the Merlin shines. They also have a, a really great fight coming up, which I streamed. Uh, against a saber, which also just goes to show like how powerful the Merlin is at zero kilometers. I don't know what his fit is, but I mean, I would try to uh, uh, all in vs him if he just like aggressed me at zero. Okay, he has a web, so he's single extender. That might be good for me. He has a tracking bonus, so we're just going to sit on him at zero. There's no point orbiting at 500 even if he has hail. Because, uh... Oh, okay. This is going to be really close, I think. Oh! That, that was close. <laughs> How much structure is that? 7% structure. Nice. And he was using hail. This fight is a very good example of the weakness of the Merlin against Gram Kiters. Uh, in this fight, this guy from the Tuskers, Rin Shinwa, who is a very good pilot, uh, completely Scram Kites me. I'm pretty late on switching to Noel, but he has me in almost the perfect position. He has a better scram than me. Uh, he has a Tech 2 scrambler. I only have the faint scram, so he can pretty much hold me indefinitely. And I was pretty late swapping to Noel. I should have tried to maybe slingshot him into scram range. I was pretty complacent, and uh, I piloted pretty poorly on my part. Although, uh, I don't think uh, you can ever really kill a competent scram kiter, especially this in this case because the Merlin has really low base speed and uh, the executioner has at least uh, 60 or 70, is at least 60 or 70 meters per second faster than me when we mutually scram and web each other. So he will almost always get out of my range. Uh, I think it's still possible to win if it lands on you at zero, but you have to get a really nice like uh, scram range thing slot to win this fight. And uh, this guy pretty much like perfectly controlled me. I think I'm, I might have been able to get out there if uh, I was actually aligned off to a Celestial. Uh, I did manage to break his scram for a, for a bit there. But uh, great piloting on his part. And it just demonstrates the weaknesses of the Merlin. Uh, Oh shit, I'm not aligned, I'm not paying attention. Too busy memeing. This guy must be using Void. Although I'm using Void too, so... Actually no, I'm not using Void. <laughs> that, that's, I thought that was my loss then. I think I could have killed this guy if I was actually at full shields and didn't just get done fighting a thrasher. Am I killing my own DPS more than I'm hurting him? Those hydra noobs can't PvP without <laughs> dropping Merlins.
I think I'm. Oh, well, that's it for this video. The Merlins are really fun ship to fly, especially in this all-in configuration. There are some other Merlin fits, of course, but this is kind of the typical archetype of Merlin that you'll encounter in Nullsec. It is very vulnerable to scram kiting, and it's also pretty vulnerable to disruptor kiting too, because it isn't that much faster than the Kestrel is anyway. Uh, with my corp drive on and with my drive off it's actually the slowest frigate in the game or uh, at least from the tech one frigate combat frigates uh yeah so hope you enjoyed this video and uh, check out my other videos etc sell out stuff that you add at the end of a video see you later